Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. This week's episode is the third and final part of my Egypt mini-series that I've been doing for the last three weeks. You've seen what it's like under the water in Egypt with the first episode following the diving we did with Kelowna divers. You've seen what it's like at the resort that we stayed in in the Red Sea and how they are trying to avoid single-use plastics. But this final episode in the mini-series is going to follow what we found when we went on, a, on an excursion away from the resort. Check this out. It's five o'clock in the morning and we're going to Satire Reef to see some dolphins. with me that that was absolutely just the definition of majestic. Those pods of wild spinner dolphins were the most incredible things I've ever ever seen in my life. Just to float next to them and swim next to them and see them all interacting with each other and swimming and playing, it was incredible. But in terms of plastic while we were there, I saw a can that was buried in the sand as I was swimming along and I managed to swim down, pick it up and give it to the guide who took it away to dispose of it properly. And then me and another guide also found a long piece of monofilament fishing line that was entangled around a piece of coral. We took a while to carefully remove it without damaging the coral as much as we could and we managed to remove that as well. This is a big problem. I've done a lot of research, especially on the corals in Hawaii, where they're getting completely entangled in this monofilament fishing line and it's killing the corals. So it's really cool to see that in person, but obviously distressing. Another thing that was particularly distressing for me on this excursion was we saw a lot of plastic gathering uh, along the pier where we were getting on the boat in the morning. It was incredible to see an accumulation of that much plastic but it didn't seem like anybody was doing anything about it. So we said to our tour guide on the boat that we were going to clean it up. If we could borrow some bin bags, that would be much appreciated. He said, absolutely, I'm 100% with you. Let's go and do it. So he gave us some massive bin bags and we headed down to clear it up. Have a look at this video.
Hopefully you could make out in that short video that the beach was absolutely covered in nurdles. I have never before seen such a high concentration of these microplastics all in one place. It was to the point where it was hard to dis distinguish between the sand, the nurdles, the shells, everything. It was devastating to see. If you're not sure what a nurdle is, nurdles are basically the feedstock for plastic products. By that I mean that most plastic products start off as nurdles. They're like the building blocks of plastics. They leak out into the environment in many ways, mostly spillages at sea or in manufacturing, transport, that sort of thing. But the dangerous thing about nurdles is that they are really commonly mistaken for fish eggs. They look quite similar, so they're quite often ingested and we should all be aware of the problems that come with plastic being ingested. If you thought that was bad, have a look at this next video. The dolphins were amazing and in fact the whole holiday was amazing, the diving, everything was just incredible to see. But you know, the best part of the whole trip for me was in that video you just saw there, where those children came and joined me and my dad while we were picking up the plastics from the harbour. We couldn't say anything to them because of the language barrier. We just started picking up plastics and suddenly they came and joined us. And it was just absolutely inspiring and it was magical to just see them want to help. We didn't even need to explain why, why there was a problem, why we should bother picking it up. They just wanted to help. And I think that is the most important thing that we all need to focus on, is that the next generation, these children, want to help. They don't want to see all of these problems that we've put them in, all of this rubbish, all of the other problems that are facing the environment. They want to help. And that it seemed they were so proud of helping us and so happy. And even when we left, we were heading back to the minibus, they were chasing after us, showing us the plastic that they'd picked up when we'd left. It was amazing. So I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to all of you for watching this video and I'll see you next week for next week's Tune In Tuesday.